YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Today, I'll show you how to use analog flow diagrams to analyze simultaneous equation. To make this possible, we will follow a series of steps. The first step will, the first step will be have a set of two equations. Second, till the two equations are separate. Third, one variable is made the subject. Fourth, obtain potentiometer. Fifth, make a subject circuit block diagram for each equation. Each equation. And then we will combine the two blocks, uh, two blocks, to come up with one single block diagram. So a case in hand is like this one, where we, where we are told that obtain the analog flow diagram to analyze the simultaneous equation given below 3.5x plus y is equals to 40 and 1.7x plus 15y is equals to 56 so the procedure is right here so we, as, as, as i said earlier we're going to treat each equation as separate second one variable is made subject that we're going to obtain potentiometer fourth we're going to construct block diagram for each and fifth we'll combine the two if we are going to treat each equation as separate and we will start by the first equation 3.5x plus y is equals to 40 uh, so uh, treat first step treat each equation as separate okay we'll start with equation one equation one which is 3.5x plus y is equals to 40. Making x the subject of the formula, we'll have 3.5x plus y, uh, sorry, 3.5x is equals to 40 minus y. So x is going to be four, uh, 40 divided by 3.5 minus y over 3.5 now we will have uh, finally we have x is equals to 11.4 okay minus 0.4 minus 0 0.29 y okay now having this we are going to the next step. One variable is made the subject. We have done that. We've made x uh, subject of the formula. Now, next we are going to obtain potentiometer. Obtain potentiometer. This is what it means. That this one it should be less than 1. So, to express it like that, we are going to say that x is equals to, making this uh, less than 1, first we'll have to multiply 100, okay, and this one will be 0 0.114, okay, minus 0, minus, uh, let's say 1, this is 1, 0 0.29, y okay so uh, this one is already less than one so multiplying by one it will still bring it in the same way and here multiplying this uh, this gain by 100 it will get you back here okay so no difference so uh, another thing uh, we should introduce a negative sign to the to the subject of the formula which is x introduce a negative sign a negative sign this will give us negative x is equals to 100 
is equals to 100, negative 100, plus, um, pardon, sorry, negative 100, 0 0.114, plus 1, 0 0.29, y. Okay. Now, uh, I'll show you where why we are, we are going to introduce a negative sign. It is very important. Eh? Now, we are going to... The next step is constructing a block diagram for each. For now, in our case, we are going to solve for this first. Then we'll solve for the second equation. For the second equation later. So, constructing a block diagram for each. So, it will be as... Uh, it will be like this. Well, this is the inverter. Yeah, note that we don't need an integrator. Okay, this is not, this is our inverter, and uh, this is where we will place the gain. Okay, of which is, of which uh, this part here is zero point one one four. Okay. Uh huh. And it has this negative so we can to make our work easier we can put here 10 and here 10 okay and don't forget that this is a negative sign and uh, uh, for this part here we put that bubble right here 0 0.29 okay 0 0.29 then it has a gain of 1 one y that is just is simply y okay and it's like this now all of this is negative x and we are interested with an out output of x so this being an inverter we expect it to invert this negative x to positive x so here we'll have x now we are done with the the, the first the 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 first equation now let us go to the second equation higher now equation two equation two equation two now our equation two is one point point seven x plus 15y is equals to 56 okay that is our equation one uh, our, our equation two now we are going we are going to follow the same 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 procedure the same same procedure here okay so making y in this case uh, we are going to make y the subject of the formula okay so it will be y it will be 15y okay 15y is equals to uh, 56 minus 1.7 x okay so this is going to be y over 56 over 15 minus 1.7 over 15 okay over 15 x this will give us uh, y if you feed it to the calculator, we're going to get uh, y is equals to 3.73, 3.73 minus uh, 0 0.11x, okay? Now, so far so good, we have reached there. Now, the second step, we are going to obtain potentiometer for this. If we economize on space here. Obtain potentiometer. Potentiometer. And introducing negative sign. And introducing negative sign negative sign okay so uh, by obtaining potentiometer everything here should be less than one so what does it suggest yeah 
so we introduce a negative sign y and sign will change throughout so this will be negative this is uh, it is more than one okay so it will be 10 0 0.373 okay minus now negative and negative is positive uh -huh. one 0 0.11 x 11x okay 0.11x this is already less than one it is it is fine and okay now we are going to plot uh, uh, a block diagram for this so it will be like this it will be like this this is an inverter this is an inverter okay um, put a bubble here so here we'll have 0 0.373 okay 0 0.073 and here it is negative 10 this we place it here and here we'll place this we'll place this one 0 0.11 okay with uh, our x here now all of this gives us negative y okay so that when we, we are going to invert it yeah we'll get a y okay so you can just imagine if we never introduced a negative sign we, we, we would not get uh, the desired output of y so if it was y then we invert it it will give it would have given us a negative y that that is why we, it is important to introduce a negative sign now so far so good uh, we are going now to combine the two blocks this block and this block as the uh, the last procedure says combine the two blocks now how are we going to achieve that combining it simply mean the output which is here we, we just equate it with the with what corresponds to it for example this is y okay so this suggests that this y we will loop it here it will come like this like that like that and it will come here okay just do like that and this is our x right this is our x we're going to take it here okay like this okay, there's no connection uh -huh. like that and then there okay that is our x and this one it will just remain like that and if this was 10 y so it is very important for you to put a 10 here a 10 y for it to be similar and by doing so we will have obtained what we call an analog flow diagram okay for the equivalent uh, simultaneous equation so just to summarize up this sign is an inverter okay it is equivalent to this one okay now the next lesson we will show you how to obtain an analog of flow diagram to analyze a simultaneous equation of which we are going to use uh, an integrator okay of which we are going to use an integrator so this is our integrator uh, to the symbol just into this this bar here it will automatically mean it is an integrator and it is equivalent to this circuit okay now this uh, this place this place is here this this and this eh? this represents the summer okay this one over here so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe